So far here in chapter 6, we have been looking at two random variables at a time, that is bivariate distributions. Now in this last section in chapter 6, it is going to get kicked up to multivariate distributions where we have n random variables that are of interest at a time. Now there is a reason for going from two random variables up to n random variables and one of the main reasons is statistics. Statistics is based on data sets and the analysis of data sets and x1, x2 up to xn represents a data set so it is of interest of course to know the probability distribution of those random variables. So here is the definition given a random experiment. So once again we start out with a random experiment which is what we started out with way back in chapter 2 and that random experiment has an associated sample space S. The multivariate random variables X1 up to Xn assign each element S which is an element of the sample space one and only one vector of real numbers x1 of s equals little x1, x2 of s equals little x2, up to xn of s equals little xn. Now you will see eventually that the index s will get dropped here and we'll just refer to these random variables as x1. But the way they're written here, they're written as functions of whatever point in the uh, sample space is the result of the random experiment. The support of these random variables is the set of ordered values and once again script A is used for the support and it's the set of all x1 up to xn such that x1 equals x1 of x, x2 equals x2 of x all the way up to xn equals xn of s for every s an element of s. So this defines a multivariate random variable. Basically instead of two of them like we've had all chapter now we have n of them. For any a that is a set a which is a subset of this support f of x1 x2 up to xn is a joint probability mass function of x1 up to x2 up to xn if p of a is the probability x1 up to xn is an element of a is equal to the n-fold summation over the set A of the probability mass function. So this takes care of the case of discrete random variables and here is the analogous thing for continuous. For any A an element of A, F of X1 up to Xn is a joint PDF of X1 up to Xn if P of A can be found by doing an n-fold integral of the joint probability density function and that defines a continuous set of random variables. So here is the definition of the joint probability mass function and here is the definition of the joint probability density.